tuna melts, um, and these are the ingredients. I'm going to first start off with cutting the vegetables, so I have an onion and some celery. Ooh. And I get that a lot of aggression. Yeah. Next, you're going to take your tuna and strain cans. I use four. The serving size, I don't know, about six or so um, English muffin tops worth, so. Make sure you get it good and dry. So then you start in about six or so tablespoons of mayonnaise, and I usually kind of add um, more as I go along, so. Once everything's stirred, go ahead and set your oven, if you have a broil setting, to broil. Oh, my finger has a lot of mayonnaise on it. Broil! Set. Go. Uh. You have the English muffins. Um, put them on a tray. I use tin foil over my trays because easy cleanup is the best ever. Um, and then I put them in the broiler for a little bit to get them a little crunchy. Then while you're waiting, coffee break. Dress them. Put a dollop. Put a dollop. Put a dollop. So you put the cheese on top. Uh, this is Cheddar Jack. You can really use any type of cheese. And I also typically like to put tomato on there before I put the cheese, but I forgot to get tomato. Cheese, cheese. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Put them in the oven um, on broil, like I said, until the cheese is melted. Number two, then it's ready to eat. They're done. They're a little crunchy on the top too, which is my favorite. Do you smell it? it smells a little fishy, but it's delicious. <laughs> Woo! Let's eat. 